Hi everyone. I want to welcome you to story time tonight. My name is Cindy and I'm going to be doing our virtual story time. So we'll just wait a minute and make sure everybody else gets on. So we're going to start with our story time song. Do you remember that? It's been a while since I've done it. like it's time to get started. Are you ready? Get your seat. Right. Let's sing story time. <clears throat> story time, story time. Welcome to our story time with lots of books and fun. Jump? Let me see you jump. Jump up high for story time. Jump up high for story time. With lots of books and fun for me and you. We will sing and dance too. Oh, very good. Let's do one more. How about spin around? Can you hold your arms out and just spin? Spin around. sit down. Now it is time to call out my friend. Do you remember my friend? She lives in this pretty box. What's her name? It's Blossom. Let's call out Blossom. Say Blossom. Can you call out really loud? Blossom. Oh, I think she can hear you. Here she comes. Here she goes. Hello, 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 everybody. How, what? Oh, they're yelling something at me. I hear them, they're saying your tail is still in the box, Blossom. Oh, my tail, whoopsie. Well, let's pull out her tail. We don't want to leave her in the box, do we? All the way out now, Blossom. There we go, now she's all the way out. Well, I'm so glad to see everybody here for story time. I am so happy and we have a great letter today. Are you ready for the letter today? Ooh, I wonder what the letter is. Hmm, oh, it's hidden. Our letter is hidden. Oh, it's down here. Can you get it, Blossom? Oh, here it is. Here it is, here it is. Ta-da! What letter is that? It's the letter F. F. I love the letter F. It's a good, it's a fun letter. <laughs> That's right. The word fun begins with the letter F. Fun. Right? You put your teeth on your lower lip and go. Very good. Now let's look at the letter F. The letter F has a straight line. It's a very tall letter. And then it has two lines coming out. Can you draw that with me with your finger? We'll do a straight line. And then we go way up to the top and go out and right to the middle and go out. And that is the capital letter F, right? There's a lowercase letter F. There is. Do you know if it looks the same or different? Oh, I don't know. Do you know, Blossom? I do, I do. I know the first letters in the alphabet. It's the ones in the middle and the end I forget. <laughs> well, is it the same or different? Well, I think it's different. Well, let's look. Let's see what it looks like. Here is the lowercase letter F. 
Let's put it up by the uppercase one. Oh my goodness. It is different. Instead of having a straight line and two straight lines, there's a curve at the top of the letter F. A curve into the straight line, and then only one line across, and it starts on one side and goes to the other side. Let's try drawing that one. Start with a curve and down, and then a line across. Very good. Good job. Well, what words begin with the letter F? Well, fun does. Fun is great. Also, foolish. Sometimes I'm foolish. And that begins with F too. It does, it does. But look, I have an F bag. Look at that. It's a bag with the letter F on it. Let's see what's in our bag. Oh, we know this fella. Do you know this fella? Reedy, Reedy, who's that? That's a frog. Frog begins with the letter F. Can you say ribbit, 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 hop? Oh, you could even hop, couldn't you? What else is in here? Oh, what's this fella? Who's that? That is a fish. Oh, it's slippery. It's a slippery fish. Oh no, oh no, slippery fish. That's a song, isn't it? Slippery fish begins with the letter F. Hmm. What else begins with the letter F? Oh, I know, this is a good letter. The flag, flag begins with the letter F. There are some really good letters that words that begin with the letter F. What about this one? Oh, it's a fire truck. Fire truck begins with the letter F. That's a good one too. Well, you're getting great with the letter F. Today, we have some stories about a place called with, that begins with the letter F. And I, there's a lot of them around Carver County. They're farms. Have you ever been to a farm or do you live on a farm? What do they have on farms? They sometimes have animals. They sometimes have plants. They grow food. And sometimes they have, give me milk. I like milk. Milk comes from farms. So do eggs. I like eggs. You're right, eggs and milk and most of the plants we eat, unless you have a garden and you eat out of your garden, come from farms. Farms are great places, aren't they? Well, we are gonna hear a funny story about a farm. Can you say goodbye to Blossom? Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye, Blossom. She's gonna go into her box while we have fun, foolish fun out here. All right, well, this story is a folk tale from Europe and it is called The Big Quiet House. Now, over here on my flannel board, on my magnet board, I have a roof, do you see the roof? And walls, this is my pretend house. Can you pretend with me that this is my house? Very good. You're gonna have to do a lot of pretending with me in this story. Once upon a time, there was a man, and I'm playing him, yep. And he was a farmer, and he lived in a little house on a farm with his wife and his kids. And he was actually very happy. He had everything he needed. One night though, he was lying in bed, tossing and turning, and he couldn't sleep. Oh, I was so tired, he said. I worked so hard the whole week through. Oh, what is a tired man to do? I need some sleep. But as he tried to sleep, his wife was snoring. Can you snore? <sighs> oh, that just, oh my goodness, that just is so loud. It keeps me awake. And in the next room, his kids were giggling really loudly. How, what does that sound like? Do you know? Can you giggle with me? <laughs> really loud. <laughs> oh my goodness, he said, I really need some sleep. I need a big, quiet house. Can you do that? those actions with me? Put your arms out to make a big, 
And then we're going to put our finger in front of our mouth to say, shh, quiet. And then we're going to make a roof over our head for house. Can you remember that? Very good. So the man wanted a big, quiet house. How am I going to get? Well, this man knew that on the other side of town, there lived a very wise woman. And so he decided that he was going to walk to her house and ask her how to get what he wanted. But it was winter out, just like now. So he had to get some clothes on, right? Can you pretend with me and put on your boots? Put on your boots, yeah, and your coat. Put on your coat, button it up. Ooh, and a big warm scarf. There we go. And he set out walking across the village through the snow. Now, I need you to walk with me. We're gonna go like this. Walk, 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 walk. We could say crunch, crunch, because it's going through the snow, right? And he got to the wise woman's house and he knocked on her door. Can you knock with me? Knock, knock, knock. Oh, ooh, just a minute, said the wise woman. And she hurried to the door. Here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, hello, hello, hello. How are you? Oh, my neighbor. It's so nice to see you. How are you this fine evening? And the man said, I'm not very well, actually. I'm very tired. I worked hard and I'm very tired. And my house, my wife snores the whole night through. My kids are annoy me by giggling too. What am I to do? I need... What does he need, remember? A big, quiet house. I can only do one hand because I'm holding a puppet. So you got to do both hands. A big, quiet house. Oh, I know just what will solve your problem. Go home and get your big, fattest chicken out of your chicken coop and bring it into your house. And then you'll have what you want. Good night. And with that, the woman went back into her house and shut the door. Clunk. And the man walked home. Ready? Crunch, 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 crunch. Hmm. This seems like an odd plan, but she's a very wise woman. So he went out to his chicken coop and he got his biggest, reddest, Chicken. Ooh, look at this chicken. What does the chicken say? And he brought her into the house. Now, I also have a picture of a chicken right here that I'm going to put in the house. Remember I said this is my house? Is that a good idea to bring a chicken into your house? Hmm. Well, the man tried to go to sleep. Everybody, oh, take off your boots, take off your coat, take off your scarf, and he tried to go to sleep. Ready? Lay down. Now, the chicken wasted no time and ran out from under the kitchen table and ran into the children's bedroom and started pecking at the children, and the children started crying. Everybody cried. And his wife jumped out of bed and started chasing the chicken who was saying, bark, 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 bark. And the man couldn't sleep. So, oh, he said, this isn't working. So he put his boots back on, he put his coat back on, he put his scarf back on, and he set off across town. Ready? Crunch, 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 crunch. And he got to the wise woman's house and he knocked at her door. Knock, 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 knock. Oh, just a minute, she said. Oh, hello, neighbor. How are you? Are you sleeping now? No, said the man. I am not sleeping. You told me to bring a chicken into my house and I did. And now feathers are flying the children are crying. My wife is running around after the chicken and I can't sleep. I need, what does he need? A big, quiet house. Oh, well, I didn't tell you the whole plan. The next 
next thing you have to do is you need to go out to your barn and um, get your goat. And yeah, bring your goat in to your house and then you'll have what you want. Toodaloo, she said. And she went back into her house and shut the door. And the man said, bring my goat into the house? That doesn't sound right. But he decided she's a wise woman. Crunch, 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 crunch. He went home. He went to his barn and he got, who's this? His goat. What does a goat say? <laughs> and he brought the goat into the house. So now he has a goat and a chicken in his house. And he tried to go to sleep. Ready, everybody? Oh, take your boots off. Take your scarf off. Take your coat off. And he tried to go to sleep. Ready? Oh, but guess what? The goat started eating everything in the house. Um, 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 um. And the chicken ran into the kid's bedroom and started pecking at the kids. Peck, 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 peck. And the children started crying. Ah! And his wife jumped out of bed and started chasing the chicken and the goat. And the man couldn't sleep. Oh! He said, this is not working. So he got his boots back on, he got his coat back on, he got his scarf back on, and he set off across town. Ready? Crunch, 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 crunch. And he got to the woman's house and he knocked at the door. Ready? Knock, 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 knock. <gasps> said the man. I brought the goat into the house like you told me. Oh, and it's even worse. Feathers are flying, the children are crying, and my wife is chasing the chicken and the goat all around the house. I am not getting any sleep. I need a big, quiet house. How can I get that? Well, let me think. Oh, I know. I know. I think you need to go out to your barn and you need to bring in, hmm, maybe, maybe your sheep and cow and horse. Bring them all into the house. Yep, that's a good idea. Okay, good night. Have a good night's sleep. Bye-bye. And with that, she went back into her house and shut the door. And the man, bewildered, he didn't know what to do. So he walked back home. Ready? Crunch, 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 crunch. She said that I'm supposed to bring in a sheep, right? What does a sheep say? Ma. And a cow. What does a cow say? Moo. And what's this guy? <gasps> a horse into my house. This does not seem like a really wise idea. What does a horse say? Nee! Right, but that's exactly what he did. He brought in a sheep and a cow Ooh. and a horse into his house. Oh no, this is getting very crowded, isn't it? Let's put the horse on first, because then he's in the back, because he's so big. And we'll put the cow, and there's the sheep, and there's the goat, and there's the chicken. Oh my goodness, their house is full. Well, she said this was gonna work. So he took off his scarf, and he took off his coat, and he took off his boots, and he crawled into bed, and he tried to go to sleep. <gasps> but then the horse started neighing. Nay, nay! The sheep started bleeding. Bah, bah! 
the cow started. What does the cow say? Moo, moo. The goat was eating everything. Ma, ma. And the chicken was pecking the children. <laughs> Guess what? The kids were crying. Ready? Feathers were flying. The animals were all making a mess and his wife was running around yelling at, oh my goodness, the man couldn't sleep. Oh, this is a disaster, he said. I, this is not the answer. So he put his coat back on and put his boots back on and put his scarf back on and he walked across town, ready? Crunch, 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 crunch through the snow. Crunch, 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 crunch. Until he came to the wise woman's house. Ready? Knock, 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 knock. And the wise woman said, Oh, hello, hello, here I come. What do you need? I'm here, hello. Can I help you? Can I help you? Are you sleeping now? No, said the man. I did what you said. I brought in the sheep, the cow, and the horse. And now feathers are flying. The children are crying. My wife is running around the house and oh, the animals are making a huge mess. I can't sleep. I need, remember, a big, quiet house. Can you help me? Oh, I forgot one little thing. The last part of the plan, you need to go home and take all those animals out of your house because that is just silly. And then you will have what you want. Good night. And with that, the wise woman shut the door. And the man, he was so tired. He walked back home. Crunch, 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 crunch. Crunch, crunch. He got to his house and he looked at all the animals and he took them and he said, goodbye goat. And he took the goat back out to the barn. And he said, goodbye cow. And he took the cow back out to the barn. And he said, goodbye uh -huh. sheep. And what does the sheep say? Bah. What does the goat say? Meh. And what does the cow say? Boo. I yeah, and put the sheep back in the barn. And he took the horse, and what does the horse say? Nay! And he took the horse back into the barn. And finally, he caught that chicken. He was running all over the place, pecking at everything. And he took that chicken out of the house. What does the chicken say? Bark, 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 bark. And he put that chicken back in the barn where it belonged. Now, he took off his scarf and he took off his boots and he took off his coat and he looked around his house. Now that all the animals were gone, his house felt much bigger. And without all those animals making all that noise, it was much and he crawled into bed and there were no chickens and no horses and no goats wow and he lay down and he could hear his wife but she was snoring really quietly oh he loved his wife and he could hear his children in the next room and they were <laughs> they were giggling, but they were really quiet too. Oh, he felt so happy. He had exactly what he wanted. A big, quiet house. And he said, next time, instead of moaning the whole day through, I'm going to count my blessings first. Because I know it could always be worse. And we know that too, because look at how bad it got when all the animals were in his house 
And that's the story of a big quiet house. Now we're gonna sing a quick song. We don't have much time, but I thought we should sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm, because you know all about farms. So let's try Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Ready? Old MacDonald Had a Farm. E-I-E-I-O. How about, how about a chicken? Did he have a chicken? He had a chicken on his farm. E-I-E-I-O, with a baba here and a baba there. What do you mean? Don't chickens say ba, ba? No, they don't. What do chickens say? Oh, you're right. Chickens don't say ba. Chickens go buck buck. Let's try that. With a buck buck here and a buck buck there. Here a buck, there a buck, everywhere a buck buck. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had. What did he have? Maybe. Oh, a horse. Did he have a horse? He had a horse, of course. There we go. Oh, come on, horse, stay up on the farm. There we go. On his farm, he had a horse. E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there. What? Am I saying the wrong thing again? You mean horses don't say moo-moo? I thought they did. What do horses say? <gasps> nay! Oh, let's try it with that. That's very good. With a nay here and a nay there. Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay, nay. And then the chicken with a cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck, cluck. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. What did he have? Oh, look, he had a sheep. Look at that, there's a sheep here. Oh, we know sheep. E-I-E-I-O, with a cock-a-doodle-doo and a cock-a-doodle-doo. What? Sheep don't say cock-a-doodle-doo? Really? <gasps> See, I grew up in the city. I didn't grow up on a farm. I should know that though, right? Okay, let's try. What do sheep really say? Ba. Okay, let's try that. With a ba ba here and a ba ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba ba. Old MacDonald had a bar. E I E I O. Oh, we forgot. With a nay nay here and a nay nay there. Here a nay, here a nay, everywhere a nay nay. Buck buck here and a buck buck there. Here, buck, there, buck, everywhere, a buck, buck. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Well, we could keep going, but we're almost out of time. So I would like to call out Blossom. Can you help me call out Blossom again? Say, Blossom. Oh, she can hear you. Here she comes. Here she comes. Hello, 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 hello! What? What? Oh, Blossom, you forgot your tail again. She always forgets her tail. She comes out, she leaves her tail in the box. There she is, all the way to the end. Well, I'm so glad you came to our story time. I am so glad to see all of you. And you know what? We have time to play my favorite game. Can you play Jack in the Box with me? Do you know how to play Jack in the Box? You have to get into an imaginary box and put your hands over your head and close your eyes or just crouch down. And then I say, Jack in the Box, so quiet and still. Will you come out? And you say, yes, I will. And you can jump up. You can raise your hands up and you can say it as loud as you want. Get into your boxes, Jack in the Box. So quiet and still, will you come out? Yes, I will! 
Well, thank you so much for joining Blossom and me for Storytime. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.